internet hi bosun here this is the continuation of the build video for the perusa i3 from san ho key that i'm building uh, this is going to be part seven and eight so if you have a little look there it will give you the time indexes to jump straight to those parts i'm sorry part nine is not here this week i was really hoping it was going to be but time's kind of against me i'll explain more at the end of the video anyway let's get on with the build video Okay, we're now going to be moving on to part seven. And in part seven, we have six M3 by 16 bolts and six M3 nuts. Also, we have three main pieces of plastic of acrylic here. We have the big square one that says Perusa I3 at the top. And we also have the two triangular pieces that you can see here. Now, be aware these do differ. Uh, this one here, as you can see, has got those holes close together than that one which they are further apart so you'll have to keep an eye on that because one is uh, set up for taking the circuit board one is set up for taking up the power supply okay let's get the plastic protector off of these oh the a is still stuck in the hole look, look at this the a is still in there oh let's just pop that out of there that's the a out of it i've got the s and the three kicking around somewhere as well Yes, I am just lobbing this on the floor. I'll swear about it late when it gets caught in the chair wheels. Okay, out of these parts, I've just had a quick check. The one with the holes wider apart is the one for the circuit board. And the one for the circuit board should be going, if you're holding this and looking at this, where it says, if you're standing holding it, looking at where it says Prusa I3, that one should go on behind that piece on your left if you're standing looking at that and the other one should be going that side like that and now we need the use these because uh, we've got one two three on each side so the m3 by 16s Be careful not to break it. The second one. Let's go to the wide camera to see me doing the top one. Put this piece on here. Be in there, you. Sorted. Right. Now the other three. I will try and put a little bit more personality these as a go, but I'm trying to concentrate and I'm a bit, I'm a bit, you know, can't think and do something at the same time. Now I'm going to be careful here on this top one as there's a very minor crack just coming off of the bit there. So I'm going to be very, very careful with this one. I think that that crack is in a place it hopefully shouldn't really be under any kind of stress. If you hear Profusius swearing in a little while, you'll understand that I was wrong. Okay, that is part seven done. So let's move on to the next bit. Okay, now we're moving on to part eight. This is where a couple more stepper motors are going to come into play. So the parts we need for this next stage are two stepper motors, two couplings, eight M3 by 10 mil bolts, 10 M3 by 16 mil bolts and 10 M3 nuts. Okay, so we'll start off by bringing over the stepper motors. Now, a quick note here is on the instructions, it does talk about the color wiring here. It says one should be, as you see them here, black, green, blue, red. 
but the other one should be the opposite way around, which would be then red, blue, green, black. Okay, this is uh, future me from a bit further ahead in the build process. Um, now in this stage here, um, originally in all the instructions and everything, see, it talked about on the stepper motors here, uh, about needing to swap the wires over on the ends here. Now, I've read a lot of places, a lot of people have told me that is no longer necessary. And I now I did do this, but I'm not going to show that right now because I don't want to confuse people. If for any reason that is needed to be done, I will put in the comments below, must change wires over in big letters somewhere. Just so, and I'll put an annotation up on the screen here somewhere tell, telling you that that must be done. But until I actually get this finished and tested for myself, I won't know for a fact if that needs to be done or not. Although, look, so many places, and I didn't see the point of swapping around myself. But anyway, if it does need to be changed, there'll be an annotation here and something written in the writing. And if it does need to be changed, I will pop up that bit of video I did about how to swap the wires over. But as I feel that is not necessary, I don't want to confuse this build video. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Carry on past me. Then what we need to do is grab one of these. They're both identical, so I only need one at the moment. And I think these are identical. They are. Let's just strip the plastic off here. Okay, so we take one of these with the hole to your personal right. I know it's left on the screen, but to the right. Take one of these and then put the hole to your right slot to the left in there and then do the good old fashioned need two of the uh, M3 by 16s with two of the nuts Okay, it's one of them. It says now bring in the frame we prepared earlier. This one's apparently for what will be, as you look at it, the left hand side of the machine. We now need to get three more of the M3 by 16 and three more of the, the nuts. You then take this with three of these and they're going to go through. My apologies, I can't show you better angles sometimes. That's going to go on that side there. Let's get one on first. Then one down the bottom there, which is easier to get to. Then that one up there. Bring out the good old 7.30 seconds. that one's there now securely on there and then the next stage it says choose a stepper motor this one here now the and it says push that wire through there Little slot at the bottom and then use the four m3 by tens for them Now something I'm noticing on here, these stepper motors do have a flat edge. So I'll have to check back on my other ones where I've put the um, pulley wheels and things on. And just double check that the grub screw is pushing against the flat edge. Rather than just both of the two of them on round edges. Because otherwise it's going to possibly slip. And now basically, if I move this out of the way... Pretty much going to be re repeating the procedure, but I'm assuming this time around I'm going to be doing it with the uh, hole that you got there this time to your left, and then putting the big hole to your left and grabbing the three of 
two of these M3 by 16s and two of the nuts. Okay, that's that tight. Now bring back the frame in again. And this time we're going to do this onto this side. We need the three last 16 M3 by 16 mil ones. Last three nuts. Okay, that's that one done. And then I'll grab the other stepper motor. And now the four remaining M3 by 10s. All right, that's those four done. Next are the two couplings. Now there's a smaller hole end and a larger hole end. So I'm assuming obviously the larger hole end is going to have to take the, the rods when the time comes. So this has a um, flat spot. I'm just putting the flat spot kind of pointing towards me at the moment. So when I put this on here. That should be now tightening onto the flat spot. And then tighten the other one, which keeps it pushed onto the flat spot, I'm assuming, is the main idea of that one. I'm putting the flat side towards me so I can see it. Okay. So, okay, there we are. We now have step eight done, mainframe there, step and motor. So it's all ready starting to look like a bit of a 3D printer. Not a lot, but a bit. Okay. Uh, next stage will be step nine. Come back a little bit later and finish building this. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I Like I said before, I am sorry that part nine is not in there. There's a lot kind of going on at the moment for me at this end of things. Uh, I've got my dad going into hospital next week and there's a lot of other things going on. So time's not been on my hands this week. Hopefully next week I should have part nine out. Uh, whether or not they'll have part 10 or any other pieces, I don't know yet, but I should at least be able to get part nine out for next week. So look forward to that. If you liked, hit like and subscribe and do all of that thumbs up, down thing, etc. And leave comments below and let me know what your feelings are. You can also catch me on Twitter at HiBoson. And I, uh, I'll see you next week, I hope. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>